Hey loves, Jay here with a reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you all so much for tuning in. If you're old or new here, welcome back and welcome to the community. We're going to hop right into your spiritual insights that I've picked up for you and we'll hop into your pre-spread, pre-spread your tarot cards and clarify each of those. Taurus, first off, happy return around the sun. I hope you all are enjoying your birthday season, all right? Um, you're about to take an adventure, Taurus. I don't know what that adventure is, what it looks like, where you're going, but you're about to take an adventure. I'm also hearing for some of you, some of you may be traveling to, to Tokyo specifically, and others of you are just traveling to places you've never been or just traveling in general. So that could be part of the adventure or the adventure just could be part of life, the adventure of life that you're going to be embarking upon. Um, I, I was seeing the color purple, okay, not the movie, okay, I'm seeing the color that, the color purple, okay, and purple is associated with uh, royalty, luxury, nobility, power, and um, ambition, so you may be feeling uh, creative energy that could be coming up for you, you may be experiencing an extravagant lifestyle, like everything may feel grander, which is beautiful, okay? Take me with you, Taurus, okay? You're going to feel peace during this time, maybe, maybe even feeling a little mystery in our magic because we're talking about the crown chakra, right? Which I'll get into shortly. Um, so purple is connected to the crown, right? Um, so you may be thinking about a lot of things during this time. Um, and speaking of thoughts, did you guys know that men have up to 60,000 thoughts per day and women 80,000 thoughts per day? That is insane. We definitely have a lot on our minds, okay? <laughs> Anyhow, some of you may be experiencing spiritual connections or phenomenons, maybe even premonitions for some of you as well. Um, but this is a time where you're going to need to... Uh, to connect more to yourself and to others as well as the universe. And maybe some of you may be experiencing headaches or tingling on the top of your dome, thoughts out of the blue, which is your spirit guides, your divine team that are giving you messages, okay? So when we say out of the blue, it comes out of the blue. It's really not out of the blue, but it comes up from the blue sky because it's our divine beings that are giving us messages. And some of you may even be sleeping better. And some of you can have sleep that it's all over the place, maybe experiencing insomnia. So it feels like there's some sort of shift that may be coming up for you in your sleep patterns. Um, but I do feel an energy of you guys feeling recharged. And if you've been feeling lethargic or maybe even antisocial, expect a shift in your energy that is going to be coming up. So um, hopefully for most of you or for all of you that is on the up and up, okay, that you're shifting into something that feels more like yourself and feels more upbeat. But Spirit is also reminding you to honor your sleep as you're being recharged, okay? So if you find yourself with all of this energy, make sure you're still recharging yourself so you can continually have more energy coming up for you or, or you know what I mean? You get what I'm saying, okay? Your universal message is to dwell on what you love. Dwell on what you love here, Taurus. Asking someone to change is like, um, it's like pruning a tree. Neither will ever be the same again. So scarier still is that, that you can't quite know in what new direction they'll grow, right? So I feel like that speaks to you. So definitely don't, you don't need to change a thing because it feels like, you know, just things are just happening for you, okay? So you don't need to go and prune this tree, like you just need to just be, okay? Just be in whatever energy that you are currently in in this moment, okay? Your angel number is 1122. So if you're seeing this number, this is about great shifts, which we've we've talked about shifts in your patterns, shifts in your life, the adventures that you're taking. Um, so this could this is definitely about personal growth for some of you as well. You're experiencing a, a spiritual transformation, like I've said, um, spiritual development, maybe even manifesting your goals that could be coming up for you, feeling more feeling more whole, feeling more oneness, oneness with the universe feeling more com connected to yourself as well. There's just con connection is the, is the most important thing here is like you're just, you're feeling that. And some of you are 
coming up on a completion or maybe it may have just completed something in your life. So this could be like a cycle, a, a relationship, completed a job, completed a school, whatever this is, it, there is a completion when you keep seeing 1122. Okay, first focus, first focus on the positive changes occurring due to your efforts. Then expand your horizons and permit yourself to try something new. Okay, so that adventure that some of you are going on, let yourself experience it. It's something new for some of you. So many positive shifts are in store for you. The world around you is changing in favor of your intentions. Okay, so 1122 is your angel number. And the next card here is to trust. Okay, trust. Trust the situation is calling for you to have faith. And if you don't know, faith is an action. Okay, faith is an action. So trust is also an action as well. Okay, so trust in whatever, whatever is the whatever is occurring, unfolding in your life right now. Trust that the situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay, so faith is most important for you. Some of you are even calling in your soulmate as well. Okay, so your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together so if you are looking for someone you're hoping for love first love yourself but you are calling in your soulmate you're only going to call in your soulmate when you are loving yourself okay and your soulmate is someone who matches your energy what they say your other half but that's kind of like a twin flame thing but we're not even going to get into all of that but i do feel like you trusting in the process you understanding and um, accepting whatever shift okay but focusing on love forever and ever marriage or long-term commitment so some of you are focused on finding someone you may be in this position where you're like I want to get married or you're you are you're already in this position where you're married and you're just wanting things to work out you want to trust that this is the right person for you that there is love there that you can get past whatever you need to get past um, but this could be a plethora of things for some of you so marriage could be coming up for some of you and sustaining marriage is also a thing for you forever and ever but I do feel like it is what a soulmate energy and your guides and angels want you to focus on this expect powerful change new moon and eclipse we are coming out of that eclipse season we're still feeling the effects of the, all the eclipse the eclipses that we've already endured in the month of um, March and April so we're still feeling that, but there's going to be change. Some of you are feeling the change already, but there's more change to come as you begin to shift, okay? Which I definitely love that energy. So there's a lot of adventures on the horizon for you here, Taurus. We're going to get your cards out here, and then I'm going to clarify each of those for you, okay? <clears throat> Spirit, we ask for the most highest clear messages for Taurus, please. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So be sure to check your chart. If this Sun sign energy does not resonate with you, be sure to check your other signs to see, to get a clearer picture of what you're experiencing. All right, we have the Queen of Cups that's coming out for you. We have the Seven of Wands, the Eight of Wands, the Lovers, the Page of Swords, the Temperance, the Page of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. All right, so we're going to clarify each of these for you, Taurus. All right, so initially your uh, most recent energy here is the Queen of Cups. Some of you have uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in your chart or you're dealing with a Pisces here but this is about you using your intuition, nurturing yourself, loving yourself, being kind to yourself and others and warm and this is a very empathetic person okay that some of you are dealing with or this could just be you embodying this energy but let's go ahead and see what this why this Queen of Cups is here for you. Um, I'm also feeling like um, some of you have been in a position where you're trying to find your place. You're trying to find your place in a relationship, in your family, in your friendships, in work, whatever this is. We have the temperance, Sagittarius energy, and then we have the um, 
Eight of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. All right. So most recently, some of you have definitely been um, hearing enabled. Okay, you're, you've been enabled or you're enabling someone, but you've been pouring into something, a relationship or job. You've been pouring into something, but I feel like with the Queen of Cups here, like Spirit is saying, you have been forgetting to pour into yourself. Okay, or maybe some of you have began to pour into yourself because you have been putting a lot of energy into something else. So I feel like you have been, you've been on this healing journey and some of you are now seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and you're working on something now. And some of you are working on a project, you're working on yourself, working on building your family, your relationship, whatever this is. You're working at this. It feels like it's something different here for you, Taurus, that you're working on. Okay, and maybe some of you are continually working on something else are working on the same thing that you've been working on, but maybe you're seeing it in a different light because you have been doing your own work with the temperance here, okay? I'm hearing moderation because she the temperance is all about moderation. So this makes me feel like you have been trying to find some balance when it comes to work and family or work and play or traveling and family and friendships and all of that. You're trying to find some sort of balance within that as well. You have been sort of feeling something on your heart. I'm, I'm feeling that with the temperance energy, feeling something on your heart. Maybe your heart has been heavy lately. Um, maybe there's been some heartbreak or maybe there's just been a lot of overwhelm or maybe you're just trying to get reconnected, reacclimated to life. Maybe you've come out of something and now it's just things just feels different. They feel different. Like there's just been a shift, but I feel like the shift is for the better and it has refocused your energy and your time and efforts into focusing on something that maybe you had let go of because you your attention was elsewhere. Um, you were disturbed is what I'm hearing. But now I feel like you're peacefully honing in on something now, okay? Whether that is something you had been working on or this is something new, I'm feeling like you're coming in with a different perspective here because you have been doing some emotional cleansing and you have been balancing yourself with this Queen of Cups energy here. That has been um, your priority for some of you, okay? Something like, like a baby. And some of you have been working on a family. But I definitely feel like, you, you know, like you've either been healing your body or emotions or something of that nature. And now your, your energy has been redirected and you feel clearer now that you're able to really put your heart and soul into whatever this is. Okay, so that's where some of you um, have been most recently. Not for everyone. It's not going to resonate with everyone here. Um, but let's move into your overall energy, um, which is the Seven of Wands energy here. Okay. So Seven of Wands is your overall energy here. So this is a, a back and forth, a battling. Maybe some of you have, you, you may be feeling a sense of feeling defensive, um, like feel like you're in opposition with someone or in a situation. But it definitely feels like something could be feeling forced or you're fighting something or you're trying to stand your ground or you, you know, you're just trying to have a favorable position in whatever this is, okay? So it, because it's the number seven, it is about personal challenges. So for some of you, you may be holding on to something from the past. There just may be something that you can't really figure out. Okay, it feels like a mystery, like something is hidden. Um, but you're, I feel like you're trying to get to a place where you're trying to, you're trying to figure it out. And you know, and I'm hoping that during this time frame, you're definitely going to be figuring it out. But I'm going to go ahead and clarify this Seven of Wands. I'm even feeling some of you may be feeling like you may be picking up weight. Okay, so maybe that for some of you, it is that it may be energetic weight that may be now manifesting into a physical weight for some of you. I'm not sure if that is intentional or it's because of things that you've been holding on to. Now it's compiling and it's showing up physically in your weight. Okay, so that's coming up. We have the Four of Wands here. We also have the Four of Swords. We have two, number four showing up. Four plus four is eight. Okay, so it, um, it makes me feel like whatever this is kind of... <laughs> I'm feeling something has gone round and round, okay? It feels like maybe there could have been a, 
uh, a pattern, you know, that has been created when it comes to this defensiveness. It makes me feel like for some of you, this is revolved around a relationship when it comes to either disputes or how you show up in relationships. It feels like there has been a pattern of something and it feels like it needs to be broken, like you need to see things from a different perspective, which is why I was feeling that most recently that maybe some of you are trying to work through the energy of um, breaking the cycles and the patterns so that you can communicate effectively and healthily in your relationships. And that's relationships across the board. It doesn't matter what relationship that is to you, okay? But it definitely feels like relationships when it comes to like intimate or very, very close relationships. So this could be a marriage that we're talking about here. Um, but I definitely feel like this, the four of, four of wands is about celebrations, but it almost feels like some of you are, uh, there's obstacles in a way to, there's obstacles in the way of your happiness. There's obstacles in the way of you completing something. I don't know what that is. And I don't know if some of you are needing to take a step back and to really just see the big picture of things because it almost feels like because it's seven of wands, I almost feel like triggered. Okay. So some of you are triggered by something that someone has said or something that, or things that are happening or occurring in your relationship. You're, you're triggered by your person in some way. I'm also even feeling like resentment coming up, but I feel like you may be blocking yourself because this is a personal challenge because the seven of wands here, you may be blocking yourself from your happiness. You may be blocking yourself from celebrating and living that full life with your soulmate, okay? Because there's something that you're holding on to. So I definitely feel like and this also brings me back to that lethargy that I'm feeling for some of you that you may, you may have been feeling tired and exhausted and makes me feel like it's energetic weight that some of you are carrying. So this means that you need to take a step back. You need to meditate. You need to reju you need to rejuvenate your energy. You need to pull back your power um, because either someone has taken power away from you or there's just things that continually happen that chips at you and makes you feel bitter, resentful or something. But it feels like a challenge. But I do feel like your spirit is wanting to celebrate what you have in your life. So if you do have a partner that you can rely on. There's a lot of love. There's chemistry. There's connection. There's all of the things that you've been asking for. There's something that may be triggering you. And for some of you, it may just be very small, but it may be something that has been repetitive that keeps triggering you. But it's I feel like it's stopping you from really celebrating the love between you and somebody. Okay. If this resonates with you, let me know what's up in the comment section below, because it definitely feels like a person that we're talking about, but it feels like your energy may be triggered and is preventing you from moving forward. So this may be something that could be coming up for some of you. And I'm also hearing that this is something that comes up ever so often. So maybe this is every few months, like quarterly, um, you know, biannually, like it feels like a, a trigger, an emotion that puts you back in the space where you feel like you can't move forward in something because you're triggered, you're angry, you're defensive, you're something, okay? So this, like I said, this could be a relationship. This could even show up as a job, okay? This could show up with your friends as well. I'm not sure how it's going to resonate with you, okay? But there's some things that you need to refocus your attention on. And I think you have been becoming more aware of where you need to focus your energy because some of you are focusing your energy where it shouldn't be focused, which is why you continually are experiencing the mo the, f the feelings of defensiveness and resentful and resent resentment and um, being triggered. Okay, I'm going to move on from that energy. An obstacle that you may face is the Eight of Wands. I'm, I was feeling like with this initially, like someone leaving, okay, or you leaving or something, but it definitely feels like things can, like, Things can transpire quickly. I don't know what this is, okay? I don't know, but it's definitely fast fast moving. So I, I don't know if there's some sort of communication between you and your person that happens rather quickly. It comes out of nowhere. Um, this card is normally about good news, but I'm not so much focused on that because it it's landing in the obstacle challenge position where I feel like 
it, and again, it feels like an opposition because we just pulled the seven of wands. We moved from the seven to the eight. And maybe it is that you're making progress, but there's still some sort of stagnation here. But I mean, I do feel like there is movement, but I don't feel like it's full forced. I feel like you may take a step towards change or maybe a step towards awareness or a step towards understanding your person. Six of cups here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles, um, your energy here. So Capricorn as well. So um, I feel like it definitely has something to do with the past. And this could have something to do with you going back and forth with family about something. I, I don't know, like assets that could show up as well you're going back and forth about money like it definitely feels like I, i'm i'm seeing this vision taurus of like you're getting so fed up and I, I i feel like you're in one place someone else is somewhere else where you either need to travel to them and i, I feel like you get so fed up and you're like f it i'm just about to go i'm, a, I'm going because i need to figure this out I, we need to be face to face that's what i'm feeling from this energy here and it definitely is somebody that you know that you're close to or is connected to you in some sort of way. You might, necess might not necessarily be close to them. But I definitely feel like it has something to do with money or assets. Something that you can sell and get money for. But at the end of the day, the bottom line is it has something to do with money. That's something that you're facing. Something that you're triggered by. Okay. But I definitely feel like you're moving towards trying to resolve an issue um, around something with family or a per your person. Well, whatever this is. But... Let me pull one more card on that. Look at that. The seven, the seven of wands is coming back out again. It's a lot of wands. It's a lot of intention energy that's going up in it, but it's it definitely makes me feel like a lot of like blockages or obstacles that are in the way towards you getting what you want or having what you want. I'm not sure. But remember we pulled eleven twenty two. That is about shifts. Okay. And the shifts aren't always rainbows and unicorns. It could feel uncomfortable, but this is all about personal growth. We talked about the Seven of Wands is about a personal challenge. So whatever this is, it feels very challenging for you internally. It feels very intense. And I definitely feel this this is on a soul level, whatever this is that you're trying to break free from. Okay, so that's an obstacle that some of you may face coming up. Where you're headed is the Lover's card. So Gemini energy here. All right, so where you're headed is is bringing more love into your life, into a situation, into your relationship, focusing on um, romance and happiness, make sure, making sure that you're not in this place of being tempted. Um, but this card is all about relationships and connections, partnerships, making decisions as well. So there may be a choice about something. There's a lot of, you're going to have to balance, find some balance some some somewhere because I feel like there's a lot of emotions in whatever this is that you may be experiencing. We have the judgment and we have the hierophant. Wow, three major arcanas. Okay, that lover's card is the third major arcana here. Very interesting. Okay. Let's see what's coming up and where you're headed. I'm feeling like you have there's something you need to talk about. There's something that may be on your heart with someone that you're going to have to talk about. And for some of you with the Hierophant, I feel like it may have to be mediated. You may have to get some sort of help, some sort of assistance to get through whatever this is. Because it feels like things are coming up from the past with the Judgment card here that are, again, trigger you, triggering you in some sort of way. So there's going to be a lot of a lot of change that's coming up. And although I'm feeling like, like I said, what I'm feeling in your energy is that you're going to begin to feel recharged. But I, I feel like because some of you have come out of the slumps, but just because you feel recharged doesn't mean that you you're out of the woods. So there's still going to be a lot of energetic things that you're going to have to sift through and release. This is why spirit is saying, don't, you know, don't take sleep for granted. You know what I mean? Like, or what What did I say earlier? I said something along the lines of um, honor your sleep. Okay, so honor your sleep during this time because when you're healing, okay, and there's no time frame on healing, 
as you're healing here, Taurus, you're going to feel feelings of or energy shifts of um, lethargy, feeling fatigued, feeling happy, then feeling sad, maybe even feeling depressed. Like it's an up and down emotions, okay, as things are rising to the surface, okay? So it definitely feels like you're pulling back layers of the onion. Things are coming to the surface that feel uncomfortable and you're going to have to work through it. And some of you are needing professional assistance to be able to work for, through it. Some of you are needing to tune in to your, your, your infinite self and to receive the guidance there. So this is why I'm seeing the color purple, right? It's all about you tuning in, uh, connecting to that crown chakra is really important during this time. So really take note of that. If you need to go back in this video and really listen to what the color purple is about, or you can do your own research on that, that is definitely going to be, it's going to help you through some of the things that you're feeling because I feel like there's almost like a crown chakra activation for some of you that may be taking place during this time so that you can open yourself up to the ethers so that you can receive those messages out of the blue, out of the blue sky, okay, so to speak. So this is where you're headed is, you know, really making decisions about how to move forward, letting go of things that feel uncomfortable because I feel like some of you may be in a position where you're going to feel vulnerable and um, you have to allow yourself to feel vulnerable and work through whatever this is that keeps coming up, okay? Because it feels like it's imperative for you to, in order to move forward, whatever this defensiveness, the triggers, the resentfulness, those triggers that come up for you, if there's something, there's something that you're still, you're holding on to, whether conscious or unconsciously, that needs to be let go of, and you may need help getting through this, okay? So if you can't do it by yourself, then you need to hire a professional, whether that is a counselor, hire an energy healer, um, which I also do remote energy clearings as well. So being open to that, uh, receiving the assistance, okay? So that's where you're headed. What's coming towards you is the Page of Swords. Okay, Page of Swords energy here. So um, I feel like this could be help for some of you. Someone, you know, some this could be someone who is uh, very intellectual. And this is part of what I was saying about maybe receiving help to get through some of these triggers. But the Page of Swords is someone who is very clever, who's very intellectual. Um, and they're very, they're very, they're very witty. So this, this, I'm, I'm feeling like a whole a intuition thing, like trusting your intuition. This could be the energy that you're also embodying as well. Okay. Um, so this, you know, the conflicts and issues that are coming up, working through that with a, a therapist or something like that. But, um, you know, the, some of you may be facing different emotions, okay? Um, the Page of Swords is also someone who is very talkative, so I feel like there's a lot of communication that is coming towards you during this time. So I, I, I'm feeling some of you may feel uncomfortable, too, with talking about some of the things that you're experiencing, some of the things from the past, but whatever is rising to the surface, it definitely feel like there is an issue or a trigger behind discussing it, which is part of the reason why you have pushed it down, okay? So this Page of Swords, we have the Five of Cups coming out and the Three of Swords. So there's definitely been some heartbreak, some disappointment. The resentment is come, definitely coming up with the Five of Cups that um, and the Three of Swords here. So some of you have been hurt around something or by someone. And there's a lot that has been on your plate and you, it's, it's, you are reluctant to let it go. You see how he's looking at the Three Cups here. He's looking at the relationships, the emotions, all of the things that didn't work out. But he still has two cups behind him standing tall okay this is I feel like this is a new opportunity these are new emotions I feel like what you need to do is take those cups okay walk across that bridge and fill up your cups <laughs> okay whatever the easier said than done but I definitely feel like there has just been a lot that has been on your heart okay there's been a lot on your heart uh, lately and what's coming towards you is working through some of these emotions, which, which again, is going to feel um, uncomfortable for some of you. But I do feel a progression through this. But again, I feel very strongly of having a, some sort of facilitator. And again, that facilitator could just be 
um, you and spirit working through some of these emotions, but I do feel like a like a person, like a tangible thing, like you talking to someone, a professional, or getting work done, investing in yourself so that you can move past this and let yourself yourself shift, okay? Because there has to be some change for you here, Taurus, in order to see. Look, five and three, now we have the number eight coming out again, okay? So this is like... a. The, it's the infinity sign when I think about it, but I feel it's it's continuous. Whatever this has been for you has been a continuous thing that you've been finding yourself in, and it's time for you to move past that. So well, that's what's coming towards you is, um, you know, seeking help and really expressing how you feel, being vulnerable, um, being communicative, so that you can move past this block this roadblock and for some of you you can move past this lethargy that you're feeling you're feeling heavy and some of you are feeling heavy in your heart space some of you are feeling uh have a lot of thoughts going on you get migraines because there's so much going on and some of you are just feeling heavy in your body in general and you're just like i feel like i can't get past this feeling that i've been feeling for so long and it's because it is time for you to let go of things what's happening in your near future is the temperance so I think we pulled the temperance earlier. Um, yes, we did. I said you were pouring into something. But this is um, healing, okay? So I, I definitely feel like in your near future, you're going to be attuning yourself to the universal energies and allowing spirit to work through you and going to be focusing on reconciling relationship, the relationship with you and your inner child, with your, your inner child, you and other people. Remember, we pulled the judgment card, so that is working through some of the things that are rising to the surface that feel uncomfortable. Um, moderation is coming up again, finding balance, okay? Um, but healing is the most important thing so that you can find some internal balance. So why is this temperance here? So this is an opportunity for a new beginning and setting up a new foundation and structure for yourself. Um, and, and have no expectations of what that looked like, but I do feel a lot of growth that's coming up for you, okay? Releasing emotions. Some of you are holding on to too much, and you don't even want to cry because you don't want to feel vulnerable. You don't want to seem weak, okay? We have the Two of Cups. We have the Star. Love this energy here for you, um, Taurus, what's coming up in your near future here. Um, so... There is a lot of healing taking place between you and your relationship or you and your relationships in general. Okay, whoever this soulmate energy is, someone that you have a very strong connection to or whatever this is, okay, or whomever this is, or this could be multiple people for some of you, but I feel like you're definitely going to be mending relationships, okay? Even if you these people or this person is no longer in your life, Maybe you can write them a burn letter, okay? Write a letter, everything that you would want to say to that person and burn it. You don't have to send it to them. But it is, again, this is a time where you're going to be mending things, okay? Pouring into yourself and pouring out all of the emotions that you've been holding on to, allowing yourselves to be exposed and vulnerable because some of you have not been in that position of letting go. Now it's time to let people see who you are at your core, Okay, and someone does see who you are at your core, that soulmate, whoever this person is, because they trigger you in some sort of way. They're like a mirror to you. Okay, and it feels uncomfortable. So this is going, there's going to be um, a lot of reconciling your feelings and those triggers that are have been coming up for you so that you can get in balance. Okay, which for some of you is also going to open up a cre creativity block that you may have been faced with. Your advice is the... Page of Cups energy, okay? So Scorpio energy here. So this is, I'm also like, this is you letting go of emotional baggage, okay? And getting focused and dreaming again. Some of you are forgetting to dream because you've been so in survival mode you, that you have, um, you have fallen away from imagining and creating and being that artistic, poetic person that some of you are, some of you are also very psychic and intuitive as well, very sensitive to energies and just a very sensitive in, uh, person in general. But, you know, life has gotten in the way and has had to 
has made you feel defensive in some ways. So it's really you getting back to that energy. Okay, really feeling your intuition and stepping back, stepping into your spirit self, right? Because we're all spiritual beings having a human experience, but really focusing on your spiritual body as to as opposed to what you're going through and what you've been through. The justice and the ace of wands is here. Clarifying this page of cups is your advice. So again, this feels like facilitation for me, like having someone help you get, get to this. Whatever this is, is going to bring on a new inspiration, new ideas, new opportunities that are going to open up for you. Okay, some of you have even been feeling, like I said, the fatigue and the, and the lethargy. This is going to bring on a new energy for you, even increase an increased libido for some of you because maybe you have been lacking in that area as well because you've been uninterested because of all of the things that you have to do to survive. You ain't got time for it, okay? You're just tired <laughs> in your relationship. Counseling is going to help. I'm going to leave it at that as your advice. Counseling, a facilitator is going to help. Also, like I said, energy work and clearing some of those, um, peeling back some of those layers and clearing those energies from your subconscious, okay? Because some of you are holding on things to things subconsciously, okay, and have no idea that you are. Your final outcome is the Knight of Swords. So let me pull some cards around this, but this is um, someone who is brave, who's a warrior, and I feel like this is energy that you can embody, the embodying Taurus is really stepping into that. I feel like you're already the warrior. I feel like you're already brave in ways, but that fearlessness is most important because some of you have been fearful about how life is going to progress okay we have the six of wands and the eight of sword and the ace of swords and that's beautiful energy because i feel like i'm uh, i feel like things are going to be changing for you rapidly with the knight of swords um because that is like just make sure you're not forcing things but i do feel like it's very quick okay a very quick energy that things begin to shift. You become recognized. People see you because you're allowing yourself to be seen. The Ace of Swords is you communicating at your highest, being able to articulate, being in tune with your emotions, feeling emotionally balanced. There may be some news coming in for you as well that helps you, that pushes you towards whatever this is. And for some of you that may be dealing with something with family, with assets or something, there's a, some news that could be coming in where it feels like you're victorious in whatever this is. So whether that is you overcoming your emotions, you winning a case, settlement, whatever this is, at the end, you are going to be victorious in this, okay? And that is your final outcome. Thank you all so much for tuning in, Taurus. Hope you enjoyed this reading. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Like this video, comment below if any part resonates with you. Share with your family and friends. I will see you guys soon. Enjoy the rest of your month. Enjoy the rest of your birthday season. I will see you guys soon. Many blessings, guys. Peace.